Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Ontario Rain Report. Joey and Lindsay once again back with you as the Ontario Rain return home for the first time in what feels like a long time. They're going to open up a five-game homestand this coming Wednesday against the Stockton Heat. And, Lindsay, let's go ahead and dive into this homestand and the past matchup. It was also against Stockton last weekend out in Stockton Arena, a hard-fought matchup between the two teams. First meeting of eight between the two sides, so a good little preview of what we're going to see on Wednesday. Had, had some fast pace to it. I think Stuthers liked the pace as well, but uh, an unfortunate overtime loss. A rain just one for four in overtime games this season. Jack Campbell with a great stretch out save on that breakaway, but um, rain weren't able to come back and gather that rebound, and Bailey bang, bangs it home. An all-important point for Ontario to keep their spot in the Pacific Division. But for Lindsay, you mentioned the overtimes. It seems like the Rain, they've only played a dozen games, and half of those have been in overtime sessions. What is it about this group that they need to go beyond 60 minutes to get a decision? Well, they've always played tight-knit games, and I think when I talked to Brett Sutter today, too, he was saying we need to start winning those Ontario-style games. I think they like to play those close games, but... They're not coming up on the winning end of them just yet, so they're hoping to kind of turn that around this week, focus on the details. That was a, that was a word that was being stressed quite a bit today at practice. And it's a quick turnaround for the Ontario Reign. They're taking on Stockton this Wednesday before celebrating the Thanksgiving holiday. And Lindsay, after one game, small sample size, but what did you see from the Stockton group that the Reign haven't seen before compared to last season? They're a little bit faster, I thought. Uh, this seems like the Pacific Division is kind of picking up the pace in, in that regard, but I thought with Stockton, too, definitely a resilient bunch. Uh, scored a goal with five seconds remaining in the first period, something that Stuthers didn't uh, quite like too much there. And then also the the overtime goal, I just thought they kept going and going, beat the rain to that rebound. There, there was a chance for Paul Ledoux to get there and uh, just couldn't catch up to Matt Bailey. Now, you mentioned that head coach Mike Stuthers earlier today after practice here at Citizens Business Bank Arena was focusing more on the details. Did he shine a little light on what details he's trying to address going into this week? Not too much, but I think it's just paying attention to, you know, rain hockey and tightening up in certain areas. I think he was pretty disappointed, like I was just talking about that late goal that they gave up. And just being able to kind of get over the hump and finish out these, these uh, you know, close games, these one-goal games. And for the rain, they got off to a great start that game on Friday. That was his biggest key going into the contest against the Stockton squad that does put a lot of shots on net. So I'd imagine that would probably be a major focus for him in this coming game to get on this homestand on the right foot and get off to a fast start. Well, they definitely don't want to be outshot at home, that's for sure. And Jack Campbell had a, a very good game, probably his best game. Um, Stuthers praised him quite highly after that Stockton game just with the way that he was able to set the puck up to, for the defenseman and how that kind of helps with the transition game for the rain. But with Jack Campbell, too, I mean, we need to see a little bit more of that going for him. I mean, it's been a kind of a crazy couple weeks here just with him going to the Kings, coming back, going to the Kings, coming back. So they need big, uh, big play from Jack Campbell just because because this defense is so young. The rain kicking off a five-game homestand. It'll be against five different opponents throughout the stretch. Again, starting Wednesday against Stockton, and then on into the weekend, San Jose and San Diego will come into town just after Thanksgiving. But for Lindsay, for you and I, even just to come back to this building and get back to work, it has to be nice. Home sweet home for these guys. What does that mean coming in after playing only one home game in a stretch of nine? Yeah, it's only it's been two weeks now since they've played a home game, and they haven't had an actual home stand to be honest. So I think Brett Sutter just said it was it's nice to be back here uh, they're actually practicing here which they've been at the practice rink a little bit so I think just in general it's, it's the holidays it's uh, you know the start of a nice homestand and I think they need to get things together and get a streak going here now away for the ice for the Ontario rain certainly a scary moment this past weekend the rain not in action but however a close friend to a lot of the players that they knew pretty well out in Tucson and Craig Cunningham would collapse just before their game against the Manitoba Moose and Lindsay you had a chance to catch up with a lot of the players that knew Cunningham quite well still a lot of details to be solved out it looks like he's trying to go on the upswing and recover but for certainly a lot of these players and especially with their age and being so young a scary moment yeah definitely I think the word that came up the most in talking with some of the players to today was the word perspective. It really puts everything in perspective. Uh, Paul Bissonnette had worked out with him in the summer. Brett Sutter as well. Uh, TJ Hensick has a very good friend in Chris Mueller on that team, said he was texting with the, with him. Um, the entire Roadrunner squad actually went to the hospital to be with Cunningham the night of the incident. And I think, too, it just the way the hockey community has responded, it's a very big story out there in, in, in hockey circles. Um, everyone definitely pulling for Cunningham and, and 
you know, thinking of his family. But on the flip side, too, it's 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 a scary story. And the way with what Hensick was talking about today was just that, you know, it brings a little fear out of players, too, because this is a guy who is healthy, you know, probably past a physical. And um, some of the players even here in Ontario have been talking to the trainers about about the incident and maybe if there was anything that could have went wrong or that could have been prevented if it were to happen even here. Details still emerging on Cunningham's condition. It seems like he's he's been stable, even though still in crit critical condition out in the local hospital in the Tucson area. Now the rain will welcome in the Tucson Roadrunners during this five-game homestand, not this weekend, but the following weekend. And as you mentioned, the response from the hockey community, NHL, the local media, everyone, I'm certain that the – the Roadrunners will be welcomed with open arms for their first visit here to Citizens Business Bank Arena. Oh, absolutely. And I think a lot of the players are saying it's been hard to not think about it, too. And just with with Cunningham and this entire situation, the whole hockey community is pulling for him. Absolutely. Now for the Ontario Reign after Wednesday's contest, they'll roll into the weekend after Thanksgiving and square off against San Jose and San Diego. And then the following weekend, as mentioned, the Tucson Roadrunners will be in town and then the five-game homestand will conclude against the Charlotte Checkers. But, Lindsay, those first four teams, all Pacific Division rivals and a lot of points to be up for grabs for Ontario. The team still hovering around the top three spots in the division. What needs to happen for this group to kind of make up some ground a little bit and enjoy home ice? Right. Well, I think there's no excuses now. I mean, they can't say they haven't seen these teams yet. These are now all teams that they've faced one time or another this season. So um, it's going to be a big chance for the rain to be able to make up some ground sitting in that third spot in the Pacific. Uh, they need to be able to string together a couple wins and really take advantage of this homestand. Lindsay, thanks for joining us and a happy Thanksgiving to you. Thank you, Joey. You too. And a happy Thanksgiving to all you fans out there. Enjoy your weekend. Come join us here at Citizens Business Bank Arena Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday. And we'll see you on another edition of the Rain Report.